So today I'm talking about a Chevy with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Chevy P0420 code? Well, it's a catalyst system, low efficiency bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in. And these heater elements monitor the catalytic converter. And when the catalytic converter falls below a 95% efficiency, then it reports this to the onboard computer, which sends out a P0420 code. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be an exhaust leak, could be a bad oxygen sensor, could be a bad catalytic converter. And it can also sometimes be a problem with the engine. For example, if there's like a bad fuel injector and it's clogging up the catalytic converter, then sometimes you could get these codes. But usually if there's some kind of problem with the engine, then you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so the first thing you do when you get this code is go locate your bank one oxygen sensors and catalytic converter. It can be a good idea to get a diagram where everything's laid out. It just makes things easier. For example, this is a 2008 Chevy Silverado 4.8 liter. And as you can see, bank one sensor one's right here, bank two sensor two's right here, and here's the catalytic converter. If you can't get a diagram, then bank one is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, then that's gonna be bank one, and the opposite of that is bank two. And so once you locate the oxygen sensors and catalytic converter, then there's gonna be a few ways you go about troubleshooting this. You could test the oxygen sensors and see if they failed. And if they test good, then you know it's a catalytic converter, or you could test the catalytic converter and see if it's failed. And if it tests good, then it's likely the oxygen sensors. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, there's some different ways you go about testing those oxygen sensors to see if they failed. You can also use a multimeter to test the heater elements inside of an oxygen sensor, because the heater element's kind of like a light bulb. If it burns out, it's just not working no more. And the heater element side of the oxygen sensors is going to be the same two colored wires and the mismatch wires are going to be for the oxygen sensor side so basically you find the same two color wires and you just test them for continuity just to see if it burned out i made a video on this i'll put a link down below if you need to check that out there's also some different ways you go about testing the catalytic converter quite often what happens with these catalytic converters is that they just become clogged up so the vehicle's not going to have as much power as it once did so if the vehicle doesn't have as much power if you go to step on the gas and it just doesn't want to go like it once did then it very likely is a clogged up catalytic converter. When these become clogged up, they start to heat up before the catalytic converter more than after because they should be running hotter after the catalytic converter than before when it's working correctly. But if they become clogged up, then they start heating up before the catalytic converter than after. So quite often what many mechanics will do is they'll use an infrared thermometer to check the temperature before the catalytic converter and then after. And if it's hotter before, then they know that it's clogged up and that there's an issue. Some mechanics, if they think there's a bad catalytic converter, they'll bust loose these bolts right before it, and they'll open this up like half an inch or so, and that way the air can escape easier, and then they'll drive the vehicle around the block, and if it has more power, then they know that the catalytic converter is clogged up. And so there's some different methods you go about testing the catalytic converter, but the thing to do is to find out if one of those oxygen sensors failed or if the catalytic converters failed. Because if there is no engine problems, there's no other issues, then either one of those sensors has failed or the catalytic converters failed. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Chevy with the P0420 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.